prayer, fills man's poverty with God's riches. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5 verse 3 We have much fine writing and learned talk about the subjective benefits of prayer, how prayer secures its full measure of results, not by affecting God, but by affecting us, by becoming a training school for those who pray. We are taught by such teachers that the province of prayer is not to get, but to train. Prayer thus becomes a mere performance, a drill sergeant, a school, in which patience, tranquility, and dependence are taught. In this school, denial of prayer is the most valuable teacher. How well all this may look, and how reasonable soever it may seem, there is nothing of it in the Bible. The clear and oft-repeated language of the Bible is that prayer is to be answered by God, that God occupies the relation of a father to us, and that as father he gives to us when we ask the things for which we ask. The best praying, therefore, is the praying that gets an answer. The possibilities and necessity of prayer are graven in the eternal foundations of the Gospel. The relation that is established between the Father and the Son and the decreed covenant between the two, has prayer as the base of its existence, and the conditions of the advance and success of the Gospel. Prayer is the condition by which all foes are to be overcome and all the inheritance is to be possessed. These are axiomatic truths, though they may be very homely ones. But these are the times when Bible axioms need to be stressed, pressed, iterated, and reiterated. The very air is rife with influences, practices, and theories which sap foundations, and the most veritable truths and the most self-evident axioms go down by insidious and invisible attacks. More than this, the tendency of these times is to an ostentatious parade of doing, which enfeebles the life and dissipates the spirit of praying. There may be kneeling, and there may be standing in prayerful attitude. There may be much bowing of the head, and yet there may be no serious, real praying. Prayer is real work. Praying is vital work. Prayer has in its keeping the very heart of worship. There may be the exhibit, the circumstance, and the pomp of praying, and yet no real praying. There may be much attitude, gesture, and verbiage, but no praying. Who can approach into God's presence in prayer? Who can come before the great God, maker of all worlds, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who holds in his hands all good? and who is all-powerful and able to do all things. Man's approach to this great God what lowliness, what truth, what cleanness of hands, and purity of heart is needed and demanded. Definition of prayer scarcely belongs to Bible range at any point. Everywhere we are impressed that it is more important and urgent that men pray, than that they be skilled in the homiletic didactics of prayer. That is a thing of the heart, not of the schools. It is more of feeling than of words. Praying is the best school in which to learn to pray, prayer the best dictionary to define the art and nature of praying. We repeat and reiterate. Prayer is not a mere habit, riveted by custom and memory, something which must be gone through with, its value depending upon the decency and perfection of the performance. Prayer is not a duty which must be performed, to ease obligation and to quiet conscience. Prayer is not mere privilege, a sacred indulgence to be taken advantage of, at leisure, at pleasure, at will, and no serious loss attending its omission. Prayer is a solemn service due to God, an adoration, a worship, an approach to God for some request, the presenting of some desire, the expression of some need to him, who supplies all need, 
and who satisfies all desires, who, as a father, finds his greatest pleasure in relieving the wants and granting the desires of his children. Prayer is the child's request, not to the winds nor to the world, but to the father. Prayer is the outstretched arms of the child for the father's help. Prayer is the child's cry calling to the father's ear, the father's heart, and to the father's ability, which the father is to hear, the father is to feel, and which the father is to relieve. Prayer is the seeking of God's great and greatest good, which will not come if we do not pray. It's an ardent cry to God. He answers by giving the specific things being asked for. Thank you. Hold me close till I get up. Thumb is barely out of sight.